as we're making a fruit pie, we're going to use rough puff pastry. Rough puff. <laughs> that is just too silly for words. Come and stand right at the front where I can keep an eye on you. Roll it out into a narrow strip, like so. Fold into three. Turn one of the open ends toward you and roll out again. In all, you do this three times. So, get yourselves into pairs, wash your hands once more for good measure, and let's make a start. That was well quick. See, easy. You just gotta be confident and don't draw too much attention to yourself. Looks like I've got to pair up with you. Oh, but sorry, I'm with Annie. Yeah, she's got those pants back. That was well cool. Unless it's not the first time she's taken something from someone's bag. Yes, I have inspected your ingredients. You can get on with putting fruit into the dish and covering it with the pastry. She's coming over. What am I going to do? Turn the heat up. What are you doing? Now, what have we got over here? That's lovely. Ibel, well done. But what's this? I said simmer. Simmer. Now, it's all mush. Why did you put it on for me? Well, I seen on a telly, on a cooking programme, miss. Those people, the old chefs, they're arsonists. I am your teacher. You listen to me, not to them. Do you think you what I'm thinking? We've not got enough fruit to make another one. You said anything about fruit. I was thinking of something a little less, oh, should I say more, savoury. What are you on about? The boys want their cheesy pants. It'd be a shame to disappoint them. <gasps> no, <laughs> just get the pastry on quick. <coughs> What's the matter with you two? Uh, nothing, nothing, miss. Well, don't just stand there tittering. Get those pies into the oven. Am I, Jeremy? You have surpassed yourselves. A star for both of you. Is this a pie I see before me? No, it's an empty plate. Sorry, miss, we ate it. You're starving, miss. You know what the dinners have been like since the new caterers started? Indeed, I do. And that leads me to deduce that your pie was probably very good because there's not a scrap left. But, as you've eaten the evidence, I can't give you a mark. Oh, miss, we made a spare one and he could have that. That's very kind of you, Tanya. Very kind indeed. But he'll have to pay you for it. No, it's all right. No, it isn't. Ingredients for apple pies don't grow on trees. By my reckoning, that's 89 pence you owe, Tanya. 89 pence? Cheap at half the price. By the look of that pie, you've got an absolute bargain. Excuse me, miss. I don't feel too good. Me too. Oh, my goodness. What's got into them? Crab apples. Let that be a lesson to you all. Use only ingredients listed by me. She's still in there! Oh, we'll just have to wait until she goes in the store cupboard. Get out! 